Now that we've completed one circuit of lights, we're going to use the Adreno software to program those lights. We do so by creating what's called a sketch. The sketch is made up of two parts. It begins with what's called a setup function. Here is where you initialize variables and pin modes. The setup function will only run once after each power up or reset of the Adreno board. You begin the sketch by typing void setup. Notice that my text automatically changes colors. I then do an open parenthesis and then a close parenthesis. And then I add an open curly brace. On the next line, I'm first going to assign pin mode 2 as an output. So I'm going to type pin mode with a capital M, parenthesis, the number 2, comma, and then in all caps, the word output. Close it with a parenthesis, and then end it with a semicolon. On the next line, I'm going to assign pin mode 4 also as an output. Close it with a parenthesis, and end it with a semicolon. On the last line of the setup, I'm going to type digital write, write with a capital W, parenthesis, four, comma. This time I'm going to type low. Close it with a parenthesis, end it with a semicolon, and then close the setup with a curly bracket. When a pin is configured to output with pin mode and set to low with digital write, the pin is set as zero volts, such as we have programmed here for pin number four. This acts as the negative side of the circuit, or the ground. After the setup, we need to add the loop function. On the next line, I'm going to type void loop. open and close brackets, and then a curly bracket. The loop function loops consecutively, allowing your program to change and respond. In this case, we want to set the digital right with a capital W for pin number two to high in all caps. Close it with a parenthesis, and then end it with a semicolon. On the next line, I'm going to type digital right again, capital W. This time, I'm going to set pin 4 as low, end it with a semicolon, and then complete the loop with a curly brace. When a pin is configured to output with pin mode and set to high with digital right, the pin is at 5 volts. This would make pin number two, the positive side of our circuit. Because the Adreno software is open source and it is shared so that others can learn from your programming, you can add what's called comments. You do so by adding two forward slashes and then putting your co comment. So here, this sets pin two as an output. This one sets pin 4 as an output. This one sets pin 4 as the ground or negative side of the circuit. This part of my programming language sets pin 2 as on, and this part sets pin 4 as off. Next what I can do is I can click the play button on my Adreno toolbar, and this will verify the code. It compiles it and makes sure you don't have any errors.
Once you see that it's done compiling and there are no error messages at the bottom, you know that your programming language should be valid. Now it's a matter of uploading the program to your lily pad.